Today I'm going to go ahead and review with you guys my first impressions of the Dose of Colors uh, I Love Sarai collab. So here's the packaging right here. I just went and picked this up at Ulta. It did launch today in stores at Ulta. Today is Sunday, July 29th. So I know it launched on Friday on the Dose of Colors website and then yesterday online at Ulta and then today it was in store. I thought I would go get it in store because I'm impatient and I gotta get, get things like right away. I don't know why I'm like that, but I am. So I did pick up three of the items. The reason I didn't pick up the whole collection, the reason I didn't pick up the entire collection is because the whole collection is $198 or $192. So almost 200 bucks. That includes the eyeshadow palette, the two glosses and it's four liquid lipsticks and two highlighters. I personally don't think that I would use everything in that collection. I probably wouldn't use the other highlighter. Wouldn't use uh, some of the lips, some of the liquid lipstick shades. So I just picked up what I was really interested in, which was the eyeshadow palette, the Soul Mate, the Soul Mate highlighter. And the Brillo Lip Gloss. I love Dose of Colors. If you don't know that, Dose of Colors is one of my favorite companies. I think that their formulas are beautiful. I think that they're reasonably... They always seem to make products that are really great quality. The components feel luxe. Everything always feels really nice. And I think their collaborations really goes with their company because they work with influencers that they've worked with and had a relationship for a very long time. So... I wasn't surprised when I saw that, you know, Karen was collabing with Dose of Colors and I was so happy to get another collab. If you are new to my channel or you don't follow me on my socials, I use the Desi X Katie collab all the time. Like, I use either the liquid lipstick or I use the highlighter. Fuego is like my stuff. Like, Fuego is like my go-to. Like, I've bought so many other highlighters, but for some reason when I see that in my bag, like, I'm like, uh, uh, like, that's that's my go-to so I already have my base on so anyways to wrap that up I already have my base on I kind of wanted to try out and see if there was any fallout from the eyeshadow palette so we're gonna go ahead and try that out first the packaging is really pretty it's like this pale nude color and it's got I love Sarai X dose of colors and it's got the embossed like palm trees all right so we're gonna start with the eyeshadow palette which I'm so excited I actually didn't even swatch the eyeshadow palette in store the only thing I did swatch were the lipsticks because I was trying to decide what lipstick I knew I was only gonna get one lip and so I was trying to decide what lippy I was gonna get so I actually didn't swatch the eyeshadow palette so here is the palette so it's really really pretty it's got the palm tree theme again Alright, so here is the eyeshadow palette. I can't remember. Oh, it does have a mirror. Okay, so it has a little mirror, so that's great, especially if you're going to travel. It's a really nice. So, and here are the six shades right here. So, um, it does have the shadow shades on the back. Okay, so they're actually backwards on the palette from how they are in here. So, this one would be Poquito Mas. This would be Sun Glow. This would be Wanderlust. This one would be Loungy, Palma, and Finders Keepers. So it's actually backwards from how they have it on the palette, which is just a little confusing, um, to be honest. I don't mind when palettes are, don't have the names, like, right in the front, because, like, it's actually kind of easier for me to be, like, talking and, like, you know, tell you guys what the shadows are, instead of, like, having to, like, look over. But I wish it was, like, the way they printed on the back was the way that they're here, but I can't, I, I get it, you know. Like, yeah. So I'm going to start with Loungy. So, I'm going to go ahead and go into that right there. By the way, if you can hear my voice and it's like a little nasally and annoying, it's because I have been sick this whole week. I think that this is a kind of palette that you can go from like day to night, day to night. And I know maybe some people would have like wanted like more mattes or more like shimmers or something but honestly if I brought this palette and if I brought my rust stack from Melt Cosmetics like I'd be good like I could go on vacation with those two palettes and create like a variance of different looks 
I, th I think that this is a great complimentary palette. We're gonna go ahead and go into Wanderlust. I'm gonna go ahead and tap that, tap off some of the excess. It's not overly powdery, honestly, either. Great, great thing, especially, I know, I know everybody's not a big fan of super powdery shadows. So yeah, definitely not like overly powdery. Can I just go ahead and fit that right in the crease right there? I always tilt my brush up because I have hooded lids, so I want to make sure that when I open, that you can still see that transition shade. Yeah, see, like, these two colors together, and then you can throw whatever you want on the lid. I think that's, it's beautiful, honestly. I know a lot of people were saying, like, oh, I can get, like, the six shades that are in here from other palettes, and that might be true, but they're probably in palettes that are a lot bigger than this, and like I said, this is a great complimentary palette to just take with you on a quick trip. Does anybody else have, like, that one eyeshadow like that one brush that does that thing that no, uh, no other brush like you can try other brushes and it just won't do it how I feel about the T72 like the T72 is like my cut crease brush and I just I don't like I look for it like I can't use another brush for it to cut the crease like I gotta use this one like I don't know but then it's like nice oval shape basically you just want to kind of create that little oval and just you just want to be able to see like your transition shades now we're gonna go back into the palette and I think I'm gonna go in I don't know if I should go in with poquito mas or sun glow I feel like Sun Glow is going to be like, and like Poquito Mas is like, you know, un poquito mas, un poquito mas de extra. Like, I, like, that's the perfect way to put it. Like, it's un poquito mas de extra. I think I'm going to go with Poquito Mas, and I'm just going to, I'm going to try that first on a Morphe M167. I'm going to try it uh, dry first. Ooh. Ooh, that's pretty. Oh my god, if this is how it applies dry, imagine this formula wet. Beautiful, it's like silver, but like with like very beautiful pink iridescence. It's not like, you know, some setting spray. I'm gonna go back in the palette. Okay, there we go. Okay, there we go. This shadow can be applied, obviously dry will you get the most pigmentation off of it if you use it wet well yeah but that's I mean that's the case with most if not all eyeshadows that's pretty quite a bit of fallout let's see I'm gonna zoom you guys in and see if you guys can see yeah see quite a bit of fallout with sun glow just because I I, I really wanted this to be like it's very pink it's very like Barbie girl pink and I wasn't really going for that I'm gonna take that on my finger I'm gonna take sun glow on my finger like that uh, and I'm just gonna stick it like right in the middle here that's like way more my style like yeah. this is what I get for second guessing myself because I wanted to use this color to begin with all right, so I'm gonna do my other eye off camera and I'll be right back. Okay, so as I showed you guys earlier, there was a little bit of fallout, but now that I kind of knew what I wanted to do on this side, there's not as much fallout from this shadow, from this side. This side, there was a lot of fallout because I didn't use it dry. I used it, or because I used it. You guys are finished. And uh, I just popped on some lashes. These are the Luna lashes. These are the new uh, faux mink lashes from the Makeup Shack. You can use my discount code. It's right here if you want to save some money. I love these lashes because they're just so like long and I like like the little intervals of like long short long short I just think they're so like playful and like they make you feel like really flirty next we're gonna go ahead and take the highlighter which is Soul Mate and the packaging is the same. It says Soulmate. Um, I forgot to mention that the items in the I Love Sarai Dose of Colors collection are vegan, cruelty-free, talc-free, paraben-free, gluten-free, and phthalates-free. So, very, very cool. 
Um, and then we're going to go ahead and open it up. So here's the highlighter. Highlighter also has a mirror, which is great for highlighting on the go. So here is the highlight highlighter in Soulmate. My favorite highlighter, which is a Desi X Katie. Um, and this is Fuego. Just to kind of compare. Huh. That's interesting. So this one is like a lot more gold than this one. I feel like this one has a little bit more peach than gold in it, if that makes sense. It's really, really pretty. We'll see. I don't know how I'm going to feel about this highlighter. This is the Morphe 501 brush. We're just going to push that back. We're going to go ahead and go in. We're going to swirl, swirl, swirl. Hit the, ooh. <laughs> yes. It is really gold. I don't know why, but in the pan and on camera, it was kind of picking up a little more pink. But no, it is definitely a gold. And look at that highlight, though. That's like that kind of highlight that makes you smile because it's just so bright. And then we're going to go ahead a little on the nose. Pretty. And then Cupid's bow. And then other cheek, other cheek. Wow. That's beautiful. It's like so blinding right off the bat. Like... Definitely wouldn't need to load up on this. This is like perfect vacation like highlight too. Like that like I stood in the sun all day like glow. Glow. That's like no matter where I turn like ha. And Alright we're going to take the highlighter and we're going to go ahead and go in the center of the eye and then just a little on top right below the brow so just a little just the tiniest bit because I can see that this stuff is powerful <laughs> so we're just gonna take just a little right here below the brow right here right in the inner corners make them nice and bright as this is a dose of colors video um, and a review of their collab I'm gonna use a good old trusty cork my favorite favorite liquid lipstick my favorite color my favorite shade ever 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 and um, I was gonna pick up aesthetic but honestly aesthetic is really close I think I did swatch cork and aesthetic next to each other but I think that they're really really similar so that's why I didn't pick it up so I'm gonna take cork and there's cork and then, last but not least, the final product that I got was the lip gloss in Brio. I don't have any other Dose of Colors lip glosses, so I'm gonna, so I wanted to try this out. I missed out on Over the Top, which was the one that Desi and Katie uh, collabed with, with Dose of Colors, and I felt like this one was really similar, so I was like, I want to try it, definitely want to try this out. Thick, like, look it. It's like bouncing back against me. It's thick. All right. Yeah, see? Oh, the doe foot applicator is all ruined. I don't know why, but that is like, I hate that. I hate when you get like your gloss applicator, like the color of the lip that you're wearing. I hate that. I don't know why it like bothers me. So there is brillo on top of cork. I like the gloss because it's not super sticky. Like, if you ever try the MAC, like the, their like glosses, like I know everybody loves Oyster Girl, but that gloss is so sticky like I feel like this is like a good gloss like it's not super sticky I can still rub my lips here you know what I mean and come away clean yeah, that is the final look I hope that you guys enjoyed this video so far I really like everything in the collection I think it's really cute that they did like this like salmon -y, this like nudie kind of pinky color for the uh, caps I just love that Dose of Colors takes a lot of time to kind of like go into their designs, make it really nice and like 
beautiful so that it's like displayable. So far about the eyeshadow palette, I love this palette. Honestly, I've only tried the three shades that I used on my eyes. Well, technically four. So I've tried this one, this one, this one, this one. I really like it. I think it's really, really pretty. I think that they um, performed really well. Yes, there was fallout and I only noticed it in that shade and that would be using it dry that I noticed it and when I used it wet I didn't notice it. Look at that. Like I can't stop looking at how glowed I am right now. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and swatch these for you real quick. Um, I know that a lot of people like hate swatches because you know like swatches aren't how shadows perform. But I figure if you want to see what the colors look like on someone of medium skin tone then you will know Wanderlust. Wanderlust. So there it is right there. We're going to go right here. So there is Wanderlust. It's like a really pretty champagne with a lot of pink reflex in it. So it's kind of iridescent-y. Then we're going to go with Sun Glow. And that is what I'm wearing all over my lid. So there's Sun Glow right there. And that's like a beautiful like gold and a bronze kind of mix it looks really gold in the plant pan but once you put it on it really hits that bronze shade and then we're gonna try and then we're gonna go with poquito mas and it's like this beautiful terracotta so there it is right there really really pretty let's give it another good swatch so there it is and next we're going to go in with a loungy and that's this really really pretty peachy pink that I really didn't think was going to work for my skin tone because these peachy pinks usually don't show up that well. Let's double swatch that. But honestly it did. It showed up really really beautiful and it just matches so well with that color combination right there. And next we're going to go in with Palma. Look at how pretty that was. Like I barely like pressed and we're gonna take this one up and I might just ruin all these oh there we go Ooh, that's pretty it's like really iridescently blue that's gorgeous and then last but not least we're gonna go um, finders keepers is gonna be the last one. oh gosh you see oh gosh that black it's so pigmented, like, it's really, 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 really pigmented. And not only is it pigmented, but, like, the sparkles stay put. Because I find with a lot of these shadows, sometimes, like, it's just a topper, like, and then, like, the more you dig into the shadow, the less, like, the sparkles come out. Or, like, when you press it on the eye, it'll just be black and, like, you won't get that reflect. But this, you can tell that the reflect really sticks to the shadow. So, there is the palette swatched. It's absolutely beautiful. I can't wait to play around with it more. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!